Hey guys and welcome back to another video for Star Wars Unlimited Shadows of the Galaxy. We have today a pack that was given out as part of the pre-release uh, event I attended for where I placed in the tournament, uh, which wasn't very high. My record at that tournament was 0-2, um, zero to 0-2 two. Zero to two, and then 2-0, to zero. so I won my last game, but it was my first tournament, so I didn't think I did too badly. And we also have the third pre-release pack that I'll be opening on the channel. So let's get straight into this pack to see if there's any tournament pack magic at all. And let's have a look. So it's a new leader, Hunter, excellent. Mars Kanata's Castle. And then we move into the commons. So again, this was at CGC in Chichester. And again, I know I've said it before, they're a great group of guys. And I had an absolute blast. Clan Saxon Gauntlet Commission and Spare the Target. And the rare is Tech. Excellent. So bit of a bad batch pack here and an uncommon head hunting foil brilliant so yeah absolute blast just get that open um and continuing to have an absolute blast so there's the um promo cards and the six packs uh, i'm not going to go through the contents again so you've got the um deck box and the instructions over there so and I'm not going to open the pre-release cards on camera I will open them and sleeve them off camera though so let's see what this pack has in store for us okay another new leader for the set Finn Spice Mines I have seen quite a few people get showcases out of these, so uh, I'll hold out some hope. You never know. And okay, on to the uncommons. Unlicensed Headhunter. Fennec Shand in base. Good, that can replace my foil version. And Bounty Hunter's Quarry. Excellent. That is good. Altering the deal. Let's pray he doesn't alter it further for the rare. And then Detention Block Rescue for the foil. So, next pack. Fennec Shand, another leader that I need. In fact, that Finn and Hunter were both rare leaders. Common leader for Fennec Shand. Coronet City. And... Scrolling through the commons. Unexpected escape. Punishing one. Coruscant dissident. And a legendary, a base legendary at that as well. The crate dragon. I've seen some very cool versions. This is a very cool foil and hyperspace card. But... As we know, collecting the base sets only. Fell the Dragon, uncommon foil as well. So, a, a, a legendary of the second pack. Let's keep that luck going, please. Pre-release box, Hunter again, so another rare. Mars's Castle. And then the commons. First hyperspace, excellent. And we have certainly gone bad batch heavy here. Crosshair, this is the way. And Quill, very nice indeed. It's a good card. Ephon Mon as the rare, and Vigilant Pursuit Craft as the foil. 
very nice indeed. So, Gar Saxon and Remote Village. I like that one. That's a really nice piece of artwork there. Obviously from episode two, where Obi-Wan is called Captured. Translation Hunt is another cool piece of artwork there by Count Dooku. Rivals Fall, that's a nice hyperspace. That is a very nice hyperspace. And Rose Tico, Cripple Authority, Bounty Posting. And the rare is the Chaos of War and a foil price on your head. So as always, I'm looking for base only. So all of the foils, hyperspaces and hyperspace foils are up. Oh, I thought I'd, I thought that was it then. I thought that was a Ray showcase. <laughs> no, it's just a hyperspace. Um, very nice indeed though. Very nice indeed hyperspace. Um, so they're all going to be up for trade or for sale if they are high enough value. Um, and yeah, so if anyone is interested in anything, drop a comment below whilst you're there. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, always appreciated. Spark of Hope, Fen Rao, Guild Target, and the rare is Cobb Vanth. Very nice indeed. Loved his appearance in the Book of Boba Fett. Dryden Voss, Foil, Legendary. So there is one straight away that is going to be probably up for sale. Probably up for sale. A uh, Foil Shiny, a Foil Legendary. Um, but I will be looking to attend the London Card Show as well. Uh, probably in November. I can't quite make the... The, um, the August one, but I will be attending the November one, hopefully. But uh, yeah, let's say drop a comment below. Contact me on Twitter as well. Warzone Lieutenant as a hyperspace. And that's at Star Wars U Pod, Y O U Pod. Millennium Falcon, Lando's Millennium Falcon. Enforced Loyalty. Toro Calican and then Val base Val. I had a shiny, I had a foil one already, and a foil cargo juggernaut. So, this is one of the reprints. There are 10 cards in the set that are reprinted from Spark of the Rebellion. This is one of them. Um, I think the process behind it was just to balance out the game a little bit more, but never mind. So, yes, uh, you can either contact me at Twitter at Star Wars U Pod or by email starwarsupod at gmail.com um, or leave comments below on any of the videos let me know and I will certainly be willing to contact you guys um, let me know how you think the pre-release pre-releases are going uh, it's not too bad two legendaries from here my hyperspaces are not wanting to stay together at the moment stay there uh, so yeah, two legendaries out of that, good few rare leaders as well, and yeah, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe to the channel as well, and until the next time, may the force be with you.